Hey, what's up, my fried heads? It's your boy J Rock. Today I'm gonna be hitting you with another fragrance review. We're gonna be taking a look at something from the House of Banana Republic. This is a uh, number six. It's called Black Platinum. I guess they're trying to do the number thing like Chanel. It's a nice looking bottle. It's simplistic, but uh, yet still, you know, kind of elegant. Now we're gonna get into the presentation. Then the performance and the price. And last but not least, you already know what's up. We'll get to the scent. Okay, so yeah, this is a 2.5 ounce, uh, being 75 mils. It's pretty heavy. It feels like it's uh, it looks bigger. It looks like if it would be a 100 mil bottle, but it's not. It's very well made, heavy glass, heavy top. It's like metal. It's not even plastic. Then it has this, like a washer. To make sure the metal doesn't touch the glass or whatever it snaps into place very well built um get the batch down here it's um i'm digging it i'm gonna give this uh like a 8.5 out of 10 i really like the presentation it comes with a nice box as well this isn't the most versatile in my opinion it's um it, the performance isn't bad it, i get about five hours which is just fine I come to accept five is the new norm. Now, um, the the thing about this is the way it projects, it projects pretty good if I'm like right here in the apartment, if I'm in a, uh, indoors, like if you work at a office or you're a principal, work at a school, a teacher, stuff like that, performs pretty well. But in the heat, it doesn't project very loud. And in the, and, and it also kind of, it, like it doesn't last as long if you're in a high heat it kind of goes away quicker and also if you're like in the winter i don't think this is uh project strong enough for that either if it's too windy so this is definitely more like a spring and fall in my opinion or uh unless you're indoors in a ac controlled environment so for, for performance i'm gonna give it like a seven it's still pretty good um you uh it does what it needs to you get your five hours with decent projection now let's get into the scent a little then we'll talk about the price I think this smells real nice off the atomizer it has a very classy feel to it in my opinion just like the bottle does and then now I'm off my skin I think it smells real nice um, I like it it's it feels more upscale to me I don't think there's something I mean you can wear it casually if you want but I think there's something you would wear like everyday use as a, you could make it a signature scent depending on the job you have if you're like in the office or teacher or maybe even like a, a sales rep stuff like that I think this will work real good and, and um you wear the proper clothes you know a nice button up this uh this could be the finishing touches you need you, you know what I'm saying could be like the icing on top, if you will. Uh, I was really digging it. I like it. Not for what I would do. I don't think this is something I would wear often just because um, I don't work in that type of environment. So I like something that's like a little stronger and fresh. And this is more like upscale. This will work like at a date, on a dinner, or to the movies. Yeah, so the sense I get on this is like I get a light touch of leather. It's not strong though, and it's kind of powdery. Now, that's really the only thing I could distinguish from other notes here. I'm going to read off the notes to you. I wrote them down. That's really the only one. It doesn't smell like a strong leather, but that's the only note I can uh, pick out. But it says here it has amber, pink pepper, patchouli, lemon, cactus, orange, and oak moss. Now, the other one I could vaguely kind of uh, pick out is, is orange. I kept, I kept smelling myself and being like, let me see what else I could find. Orange is probably the only other thing I could I could smell a little bit, but it's very well blended. You'll have a hard time picking out specific scents, specific notes, if you will. So um, I, I like that about it. And like I said, it's a very elegant, classy uh, scent. If you work in any place where 
you're the boss, you you interview people, or or you're going to an interview, or stuff like that. You're a teacher in a college somewhere or whatever. This would be perfect. This is uh this is definitely like a when you smell like this, it, you you smell like you're important and it has a clean smell to it as well. Not clean like soapy or anything like that. Just clean in general, like like someone you picture someone that's well dressed. Not necessarily has doesn't necessarily have to be like a suit and tie, but you picture someone that, that knows how to dress. Um, yeah, so like I said, I, I was impressed with this scent. If you guys have tried this before, let me know what you guys think about it. Definitely, if uh, you haven't tried it, definitely give it a spray when you're at Banana Republic. I give this scent like a uh, 8.5. I was digging it. I think it was real nice, and it doesn't smell like anything I, I smelled before, or like anything in my collection. So yeah, that's the sand it was a winner. I was uh I was digging it. Now the price, this goes for about 45 at Banana Republic for 2.5 2.5 ounces being 75 millis. Uh at that price uh online there's a lot of other fragrances you could buy at, at around 50 bucks. So so it's debatable if you if you want to get it at that price or not. I would recommend look around. There's a lot of options out there at, at that price. But you can find this sometimes at TJ Maxx, Marshall, so on and so on. At like around 20. If you see this at 20, I pick it up. I pick this bad boy up. It's totally worth 20 bucks. Uh yeah, so like I said, um, I, I seen this one's a little bit um controversial. Some people like it, some people don't. Uh, I'd be curious to see what you guys think. If you've tried this before, let me know in the comments. And uh, right now I'm going to get to record another video and I'll probably download the other one two, three days from now. So yeah, I got all my social media links in the description down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, then you know, go ahead and do that. Touch that red button right there. Support your boy. Support the channel. Now, um, I guess that's all I got for you guys today and I'll check you guys out next time.